Yo, what's up guys? My name is PK Sparks, and I am a content creator, influencer, and commentator for Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Pokemon Tournament. When commentating, my goal is to add to the viewer's tournament stream experience through character knowledge. Uh, Emoga is really frustrating for Shannon Lore right. because any debuff takes out overheat. And how many times did Ling Ling get caught by overheat in that match? A uh, too much. Yeah, exactly. So if he catches, catches him um, on input with Emoga, not only is he slowing Chandelure down, who's already one of the slowest characters in the game, uh, you also take out one of um, one of Chandelure's get off me options. Lucario can be uber aggressive versus Blaziken. We know Blaziken is going to be going all out with the Blaze Kick, the Sky Uppercut. As a matter of fact, I saw him practicing. The amount of time he had used the Sky, the sky Uppercut to not only evade projectiles, which is projectile invincible, but also punish his opponent has been phenomenal. I, I expect to see that a few times this matchup. Blaziken thrives off corner pressure, and Shannon Lure has very little options in corner pressure. So if, if let's say Angel can bait out the overheat, that's the best check Shannon Lure has to get out of that situation. True. So then he's fun not only running with lower speed and lower attack, but has to make sure he gets the right read, the proper read, to get out of the corner for Blaziken. This, is this and situation? match analysis. The, the thing that Ling Ling has right now are mix-ups. Right. He's throwing off his timing to where any of Shannon Lure's Hunter's options, you don't know if it's the right option to do. So, Cap Fight is either going to have to get really manly and just start doing things that are unsafe just to try and get a punish off, or he's going to have to hold on to that shield and be really technical uh -oh. and tactical in this match. It's also important to remember I'm a fan of the game I'm casting. Sometimes you just got to let the emotion out. Punish. These players know exactly what they're doing. We just need to sit back and watch this as spectators. <laughs> right? All right, yeah, that's the, the support uses from both of them have been amazing. The evasions, the combos, the counter cancels. Th there's nothing we can say. This yeah. is why we're casting and they're playing. Hex doing a lot more damage when you have a debuff, and even a little bit more when it's a defense debuff. Right. Ooh, oh, and come again, on! And again. This man just used. This is why we need an update! <laughs> this is why we need an update! <laughs> This man used the glitch, flexed real quick, put the defense debuff back, back on, on him, him, and caught him with the hex. Why? Oh. I, feel like, I feel like he wants to be close enough to do something. Oh he did it! My he God. did it! He did it! Sky yes! Yes! The true shit. Yes! He's on the board. Don't know, Sky Uppercut has projectile invulnerability, and guess what Sweet Killer Burst counts as? I have casted local, regional, and national events, from pools to top eight. I can fit any role of commentary that is necessary. And if you choose me for commentary at your event, I'll make sure to leave a positive impression for you that your audience won't forget. Thank you for taking the time to watch my commentary reel. My name is PK Sparks, and I hope to hear from you very soon.